Julie Gerling, Conservative MEP for the South West. It's Chinese New Year and you've got a warning to anyone who might be thinking of letting off a Chinese lantern. Yes, um, as I understand it, this is the real peak time for Chinese lanterns. And we've been doing some work here in the Parliament and I've been talking to the Commission about the impact of Chinese lanterns because although we all love setting them off and it's great fun seeing them going off in the sky, there are reported incidents of firstly on, at coastal spots where the RNLI are getting called out because people think a flare's gone up. We've also got some really nasty reports of damage to animals, to, to farm animals, not just from the fire, which can be difficult, but also from when they ingest the metal that's part of, of the Chinese lantern structure. So we've had dead cows with punctured stomachs. It's really all very unpleasant. And of course, there's the obvious risk of, of uh, fire. And there are across Europe, and one of the reasons I spoke to the Commission, there are examples across Europe, um, in one case in Germany, of a child dying as a result. So I am very, very concerned that in the UK they are they're apparently completely unregulated. And I do think people should think twice. What seems like just a good bit of fun could be a bit difficult. I mean, you say think twice. Are you really asking people not to let these lanterns off this Chinese New Year? Oh, that would certainly be my choice. I've, I've looked at some of some of the, the evidence um, on, their, on their misuse and yes, I would never set one off. That, that would be my choice. But I, you know, I don't want to stop people doing things. But the last thing I want to be is the, the, the woman who, you know, the fun, the fun killer, the woman who, who stopped people having fun. Not at all. But I do think that they maybe are not appropriate and it, it's up to people. I'd like people to, to restrain themselves voluntarily. I don't like to see things banned and regulations and everything else, but if that's what we have to do, I'm calling on the government and the Commission here in Europe to get some proper facts and figures together so that we can really look at the, the, the proper evidence. At the moment it's mostly anecdotal, but it's certainly the case. I get lots of concerned letters and lots of concerned constituents. It's certainly the case that a lot of people are beginning to think that perhaps the increased use of these is, is not a good thing. So are you really asking them for some kind of investigation to put together, if you like, the, the anecdotal evidence that you're talking about? Yes, I'd like, I'd like the evidence to be collated. The interested parties, people like the NFU, the Farmers Union, the, the Lifeboats people, the R, R, RNLI, I'd like those people to be spoken to so that we can put that, the evidence together, so that we're not, you know, we're not barking up the wrong tree, we're not making a mountain out of a molehill or whatever but that we are making sure that safety is first. And it seems really appropriate uh, that for this week, which is Chinese New Year, these, these come from China. We, they're mostly imported in batches into, there's no clear trail, there's no, it's not branded product. We don't even know how many of them there are. So this is a good time of year to say to people that you may not have thought about this, please give it a bit of thought. And in terms of some kind of a review or investigation, who would you like to see do that? Are you talking about the British government or the European Commission? At what level does that review need to take place? Well, as a, as a UK politician, I'd like to see the British government take the initiative. I don't particularly want a, a huge great regulation or directive coming from Europe on it. We don't need that. I think we can make our decisions ourselves in the UK. With my MEP hat on, though, it's an, if it's an issue in the UK, it is across Europe, and I would like the Commission to use some of the resources they have. After all, we all pay an awful lot for the bureaucrats at the Commission. Let's ask them to do some of this work and produce some of this evidence. And if you get that evidence, and if it is substantial enough, I mean, I know you're not a fan of rules and regulations, but if the evidence calls for it, would you support the idea of a ban? I would, yes. If, 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 if the evidence supports it and there can be a sensible, clear way forward, then I would support the restriction of the use, yes. And what about um, the response that you've got so far from the European Commission? One of the ideas when it comes to protecting livestock was to put a, a magnet in a cow's stomach. That was one of the, the EU commissioners that suggested that. What's your reaction to that? Uh, well, wake up, uh, get real, or any, any, any such phrase like that. I mean, to, to me, that's totally daft. And I have I put another question in only um, the beginning of this week saying, what on earth do you mean? Can you imagine all these cows with magnets in their sides? It's just crazy. I just don't see that that's an answer at all. 
The answers, though, that they gave me did at least indicate that they are looking at it and that they do recognise that it is a problem in Europe generally. So that was good. That particular part of the answer was really silly, but, and I hope that they'll clean their act up on that.